Hey everybody, Darren Voros here. I just got back from my most recent acquisition in Hamilton, Ontario. We did a walkthrough of the property post demolition. We looked at the entire house, but the basement we looked at, what we're gonna do in terms of the layout down there for the future basement apartment. The main floor, we've stripped off the ceilings and the walls, and so we were able to look at the structural issues that are going on there and how we wanna restructure that to open things up. The second floor, we looked at how we're gonna work the bathroom up there, the little powder room that we wanna add on the second floor. We think we've come up with a plan. And in the backyard, the garage has been demolished, and so we're looking at at now how we lay out the basement entrance and also what we're going to do with the uh, parking pad in the backyard so I can't wait to show you guys the progress that we've made out there and if you stick around to the end of the video you'll see what happens to real estate investors when they've been on too many job sites in a row and their mind gets a little fried but uh, before we get into it if you haven't done so already you can subscribe to my channel hit the notification bell and feel free to leave comments and questions below for me if you haven't had a chance to check out the first video in this series uh, that was actually where we went through the property pre-demolition so you might want to check that video out first it's in the playlist called Hamilton flip to JV so you can check it out there and without further ado let's get into it should we go in and take a look see what we they shall did? <laughs> let's do it Ella's got some energy all right let's go show me show me all show right me. let's do this still, still smells <laughs> terrible yeah yeah it does all right well so this is where the bathroom would be right here yeah so when we're gonna run plumbing here it's easy now because we can drop it. Cavity. Yeah, we'll just bring it maybe all the way across and then we can drop the bulkhead wherever we need to. And this is load bearing, right? Yes. So we gotta figure out structure on um, how we pick that up. For sure. <laughs> She's whipping around it. I love it. I love she it. She loves random projects. She's been on a few. But what we should have had them do, and they might have to come back, yeah. is we should get them to take it to here, right? Because yeah. we don't want to keep this doorway. No. No, so not a problem. We, that's, I'm coming tomorrow. He's coming back tomorrow to do some little more cleanup and stuff. Love the two by threes. <laughs> Glad, yeah, glad when, I, when I saw those, I'm like, this is definitely not load bearing. Yeah. So this could really come out. Let's hope not. The one thing we will have to work is we work the, um, the vents upstairs. Unless we just literally just keep this right here. Where does that vent go? It would be to the bedroom. Because if we kept, if we just took it back to right here, right, we can build the island right off of this. Or we, I guess, could move it over. Well, we can't even move it over to here. Like we can't even tuck it here because, no. well, no, because it's got to go to that bedroom, right? Yeah. We could put it here. We could just extend this little bulkhead thing here, tuck it right on the outside wall, and then we run it across and bring it up. And we don't even have to run it that far over. We can bring it, because here's the bedroom here, right? Yeah, we can bring it up into that. Actually, the bedroom is back farther. Yeah, it's here. right there. That's an easy fix. Yes. Yeah. We just got to figure out the ductwork in the basement. But we'll, when we get down there, we'll be able to take a look. Mm -hmm. And then this electrical, we'll figure out a way. We'll that see where that. Electrician's coming on Friday. Yeah, and we'll see where that goes. What, what it's feeding, and then hopefully it's not feeding the whole second floor. <laughs> we can run the hardwood all the way through here. Yeah. This subfloor will be fine, it's not the greatest, but we'll make sure that we take the squeaks out of it and then just put down the new stuff. Yep. Unless he really like really wants to like tie it in where they go like take a couple pieces back and make it seamless, but I'm not, I don't, that's not necessary for me. Okay, so I need to get him tomorrow to take this out, this, like this wall here. I'm gonna leave this, cause we gotta have it. Well, and then we gotta figure out how we structure it. So there's two options, really. You can try to get uh, something to this outside wall, and we can put a beam all the way across here. I have a feeling there's nothing there. They might have taken this load bearing wall out. They did. I told you this was just like the other my other house. Like there's nothing holding those those joints together. They're actually dipping, and if you look, you can see that it's dipping. Well, I would have thought that the this would be load bearing and that would be load bearing and the structure would span from here to here. So in that section it's different than in this section, but I don't I don't know. I mean I guess worst case scenario is we pull this ceiling down and we realize that it's not 
load bearing, right? But the joists do span, and then we are, we're fine. We just put up some new drywall, and away we go. Right. But we'll be able to tell here too. Once I would say remove Let's this, do this first. first. Yeah. And then okay. once that's down, then we'll be able to tell if this is you know got a double top plate and it's picking up structure. Then we'll know a little more about it then. Because if they did remove structure here, then we have to jack it up. Because if they didn't, we could put a beam here and then tie this one into here right. and stop it there. If they removed structure, we gotta go all the way, go all the way across and then we can eliminate all that and we don't have to worry about it. Yeah, and this is double brick, right? Yeah. So we can either pocket into here or, which is probably, the, but we probably need an engineer to spec it. But this will be nice when it's all opened up. It'll be, it'll really change the space. Yeah. Nothing else in here that's really all that surprising, right? I mean, everything else is except the electrical wire. <laughs> they, fish, they fish through. Oh my god. Well, the nice thing is we have the basement exposed now. We've run new, we got to run some, some new, new wiring. Hey, I need to do some investigating right now. Hold my phone. <laughs> nope. What? They don't change it. So they keep going in that direction? Yeah. So I think I think that wall got removed at some point. I don't know how this house was laid out before in terms of kitchen, bathroom, whatever. Right. But it looks like they removed it and then you know we gotta we gotta deal with it. So now the question becomes what kind of space do we have here? You're standing pretty much where I think the toilet has to end, like this, because you're we're at the same height as the doorway basically. So that is where the toilet should end. We've got 40, let's call it 46 inches. You'd be sitting on it right now, and then if you stood up. <laughs> yeah. So from there, the edge of the toilet is I, I'm about 30 inches back, right? So then we've got another, yeah, we're almost another 30 inches. So okay. That should be good. And we can put a 28 inch door on here, which will swing back that way. And then the vanity will be right there. Right there. Yeah. At about 20 inches, let's call it, we'll be able to come out, you know, at least eight inches with a vanity. Yeah. Fine. It'll be tiny, but it'll be it'll, it'll be, be functional. Room. That's yeah. all it needs. It doesn't need to be crazy. It just needs to be functional. These yeah. two bedrooms aren't big enough to take any any space. No. Yeah. Whoa. So this pump is definitely not working right now. <laughs> So we're going to move the water tank over here, right? Yeah. We're going to make this our utility room. So here's I'll keep the bedroom over here with the window. Yes. I'll put the bathroom right where the stairs are. Yeah. So you walk in. I'd have your kitchen essentially over on this on this back wall over here, and maybe in an L shape or just straight on the back wall, uh, and then living space in there. Yeah, I was thinking like yeah, you come down here. Uh, closet, like closet that backs onto the bathroom. Yeah. I mean, all this plumbing, it's, it's all going to get channeled up anyway, right? Yeah. So this will all get moved. We basically walk in after the bathroom here and we can decide if we, we don't need to bring it up this far. If we could have like a little corridor here. Yeah. That goes to the bedroom mm -hmm. and then this can basically all be opened up. I would just do like a linear kitchen. That's right. Maybe a little island here like for seating. Uh, you can do a little peninsula off the wall. You can do two base cabinets right here for a little bit more storage, and it's a peninsula to eat it on the other side. Obviously, we want the dishwasher and the sink and all the you know, want dishwasher side stuff. stuff. You want dishwasher in one bedroom. Always. Good. It's such, it's, it's such like a, it's a selling feature, right? Huh. Okay. Like, I never thought of that. I get in a dishwasher before I get in a full size fridge. Well, that might be not bad to put in like a peninsula. Yeah. Right? 
although it's tricky with the plumbing in the basement. True. It's easier to keep it on the wall above the plumbing. True, true. And then this would actually be a nice, like you mentioned it the other day, you said maybe like the bed could be in here, but I think it'd actually be good for the TV. Right? It, it like, would be, but you're we're because you're gonna you have your couch here and like maybe something over there, and then you've got the TV here, which is inset, so not gonna be part of your living space. Is it just me or is I get louder and louder? <laughs> I'm gonna go turn it off. Alright. I mean there's got there should be a disconnect here somewhere. I'm trying I was trying to find it. There it is. Do we want to replace there's no point in replacing this duct work, is there? These are only eight inch ducts anyway. So they're gonna replace it with the same stuff. No, they they can do six inch. Right. But it's I don't know that it's worth it to gain those two inches. The thing is over here it's just a big wasted space right there. Yeah, there's all kinds of stuff coming off the side here. You know what? There's no, there's no, it doesn't make that much of a difference. So no. They're 12 by so eight. So here, here's my question. So I think they, they go 20 by six, so they get wider. But let's get a quote on what it would cost to switch this stuff over. Because if we can switch it to six inch, now we can run from the bulkhead, just a piece of drywall straight across. Straight across. All right, um, anything else down here we need to like figure out? You need, we need to measure it up and then we'll drop a floor plan. Yeah. Um, but basically, and then we'll submit to the city mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, hopefully get our permit sometime soon. But there's so many things we can be doing in the meantime. 100% we get upstairs completely ready. Can we, can, we can even get the entrance. Yeah. As long as we have an engineer come in and, and sign off on where we can do it, yeah. we, we can do that. And we'll have to get maybe the engineer to, to spec that load bearing wall. Yeah, we'll do both. Case. We do so both. we'll get somebody to do both those things and then we can we can do it uh, without a permit. Whoa! <laughs> no garage. You I take, would kind of follow this here. I was going to say, you take that flower bed out and you have your two, you have your two car parking. What is it? You, like, if you want to do it towards the end of the yard, you can't. But we could easily just stop it right here. We don't, I mean, we don't need to also flare the entrance to the. I mean, the basement entrance is not going to come out that far. It's not that far down. Like we're talking about maybe, maybe six feet out from the house. If we build a fence till this point here, right? Yeah. And then we'll have to go all the way back. And I would do like a six by six post fence, heavy like post. Somebody like, hits boom, it. Boom, boom, boom! You're not going anywhere. Yeah, you can tuck it in behind there. I still think it's the best location for the entrance. I, I agree, because it doesn't, you're not breaking anything up. Yeah. What are you going to do in the basement? Because even if we had to bring it out to here, and then the the thing flared here, we still, still got lots of room. Space. We still got lots of room. We'll just want to make sure, and it, it might be a situation where we like drop in some steel, like something sturdy that you can't like end up in the, <laughs> the basement entrance with your car. <laughs> that should be our first priority, so let's get it. You have it measured out already? Um, tentatively, so I'm coming in again tomorrow with actual measurements. Get it and get it framed, and then plumber get the plumber and get the bathroom plumbed upstairs and put together back. Put it put together upstairs. Back to. <laughs> Did you just have a stroke? Uh, yes. <laughs> Put upstairs back together. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, you know. That's, that's, we, may, we, may, we may need to get you to a hospital. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Tomorrow the demo guys will um, take you out. <laughs> Stop it, you're making me laugh that way. And cut. I hope you guys enjoyed that most recent walkthrough of our property in Hamilton, Ontario. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button below. You can also subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, and feel free to leave comments and questions below for me. You can also check out my website, darrenvoros.com, and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And with that, I'll say thank you guys so much for watching. I wish you the best of success on your real estate investing journey, and I look forward to hearing your success stories very soon.